Hello and welcome back to Vault Hunters. In our last episode, we got some really cool vault gear. I have to find it here. Yeah, this epic chest plate. This thing is absolutely massive. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, so today we are going to go through a couple more things. One of the things I want to work on is catalysts. So I've been kind of, I haven't really messed with these too much as soon as I find where I put them. Yeah, here we go. I have a couple of vault catalysts. And if you're not familiar with what a vault catalyst can do, you can take a vault crystal, just like one of these, one of these normal ones here, and you can combine it with a vault catalyst to add certain modifiers to it. So this one, if I add this uh, catalyst to this one, it will give me indestructible, which uh, I think we can hit shift and it will give us minus 100% durability damage. Uh, so basically none of our armor will take any, any hits on that one. It's actually a pretty good one. Um, or I can use this one, and this one will give us Horde, which gives us plus two sets of Gilded Chests, which is a really good thing, but it also gives us, gives us weakness and slowness. So that's not really a good one. Um, but one of the things that I saw CWG doing, and if you are not familiar with him, you can go check out his channel. Uh, he's got a lot of really cool stuff. That is him right there. Um, and I'm not going to give away too much of this, but he's got some cool stuff cooking up back there. Um, but no, we, get, we can make a catalyst decryption table. And what that will basically let us do is put in our crystal and a bunch of catalysts in it. And it will basically let us choose which one is the best. It will give us all the details of everything. And uh, we can uh, make a decision a little bit easier with that. So in order to make a catalyst decryption table... We're going to need a lectern, some perfect biniotite, perfect laramark, catalyst fragments, and vault essence. I should have everything. Let me check about this vault essence here. Oh, I've got plenty of vault essence. Uh, there's some, we'll grab some biniotite, we'll grab some laramar, and uh, we need a lectern. Hmm, I wonder if they have any lecterns over here. Ooh, looky here. A spare lectern. <laughs> I don't know about spare, but it's mine now. All right, so let's make us a perfect Laramar. Let's make us a perfect Beniotite. And then I think I should be able to get Catalyst Fragments, hit the plus, there we go. And here we go. We have a Catalyst Decryption Table. So what we can do is we can put our crystal in here that has no objectives on it, and we can put the Catalysts right directly in here, and it will actually tell us what each of the uh, crystal combinations with the Catalysts will be. So I could just put a whole bunch of Catalysts in here, and my crystal and figure out which one would be the best for me to take. So that being the case, we need to make us up some more catalysts. So let's grab a bunch of stuff here. I have my catalyst shards. I've actually not been gathering them as much in the vaults lately, uh, mainly just because uh, it's been one of those things where I'm like, oh, I don't need these right now. I'm not going to mess with them. And it turns out I actually do kind of need them more than I initially thought. Um, I am kind of low on Laramar, but let's, uh, let's see, let's make a, a few more catalysts here. We'll hit the plus here. We can make up to eight catalysts, so let's go ahead and make all eight. And that may have been a little bit of a waste of some of my ores, but that's okay, so we're just gonna dump these in here. Okay, so now we have a really good, you know, idea of what each of these are gonna be. I really like Gilded, uh, I don't like Fast and Hunger. Uh, I like Gilded, but not super unlucky in Hunger. Um, Horde is good, because it gives us more Gilded Chest, but uh, we do get weakened and slowed. So there's a, a lot here. Extended, but tired, so we get more Vault Time. Rotten means Vault Power-Ups have no effect. Uh, silent, ooh, Silent's pretty good. Uh, but Slowed, mm, Slowed's not too bad. Uh, resilient and difficult. Ah, oh, man. So many different choices, but this is this is what we're going to use to simple and difficult. Are those like don't they negate themselves out? I'm not real sure. I'm not real sure. Um, but yeah, so this is what we're going to use to basically customize our crystals as we go forward, because this is going to give us a lot better chance of uh, having success rather than um, just randomly rolling whatever it could be. So I think for this one, we're actually going to take uh, gilded with fast but hunger. Uh, I can always bring in more meal uh, to keep me going. The fast is kind of a, a bummer, but because uh, we have a little bit lower vault time. But the gilded is a is a really good thing. Um, now the super unlucky, I don't like that. 
that means we won't get as many like Omega chests and things like that. Um, Horde is pretty good because it adds the Gilded Chest, but uh, we get weakened and slowed, and weakened is not good. So I think in this case we're going to take Fast and Hunger. So we're going to pull these two out, and now we know we just take these two over here to the Anvil, and then we can uh, use these to get exactly what we want. But I don't have enough levels, so going to have to go visit the farms. Or we can just visit Bottles of Enchanting. I guess that one works too. So there we go. So we get Gilded, but Fast and Hunger. So that's not too bad. We're going to take that one. I like it. So we're going to put this back over here, and we might run that one a little bit later. Uh, let's see what we can get on another crystal. All right, so there's quite a few ones here. Looks like this one's kind of the same. Uh, simple Trapped, Rotten, Extended, but Slowed. Hmm, easy is nice. Uh, silent, Hunger, Resilient, Fatiguing. Okay, so most of these didn't actually re-roll, uh, which is almost what I expected. I guess I really didn't know. Uh, weakened and Tired is not good. Uh, personal Space, Fast, but Hunger. Personal Space is nice. Gives you much more room. Uh... Resilient, fatiguing, so all kinds of different things. We'll go through and we'll make decisions uh, as we go forward. I, I don't know which one we're going to choose for right now. I want to roll through all of the different crystals that I have here and uh, make sure I can get some really good stuff. Um, we're slowly building up a good stock of crystals. Uh, some of these are getting really difficult, like 691 terracotta. Because like all the terracotta I have are from... Yeah, I've got two stacks. All the terracotta I have are from either gifter statues uh, or just random things I've found... Uh, lying around. I haven't actually gone and mined terracotta. I don't know if there's a way to uh, farm it, but yeah, th th those just make it so difficult. And I have so much junk everywhere. I have crates everywhere. I have stuff I don't even know what it does. Uh, some more compressed blocks. I meant to take these upstairs. So I just have junk absolutely everywhere. This place is an absolute mess. I have just chests hanging around, uh, random little things here and there, all kinds of just, some of these are just junk. Um, some of it, the items are useful, but I just have stuff laying around everywhere. I really need to get to work on my mega base back there so I can get an actual proper storage system. Speaking of compressed blocks, I have quite a few compressed blocks here. Uh, slowly building up these things. These are nice to have uh, whenever the vault gives us something really difficult. Uh, for example, you know, 4,000 uh, compressed gravel, or 4,000 gravel, things like that. That's uh, never fun to deal with. So back over here on the mega base, uh, slowly working through how I want to design it out. Like I kind of have some of the things kind of laid out over on that side there. Um, and I'm slowly building it up. Um, I have a lot of work to do, and a lot of these things are kind of difficult on how I want to build these pillars and stuff out front because of the whole inverted stairs, so I have to place a block behind it, and <clears throat> just an absolute nightmare to have to do. But I'm slowly getting there. I have most of the floor all laid out, some of the walls laid out. Um, just, again, trying to get this thing figured out how I want to do it. Uh, storage room's going to be down in here. I may take this and sink this down deeper, I think that's probably going to be my best bet so that I'm able to get in there and have a bunch of chests for some deep storage. Because with all the stuff that we're getting from the gifter statues and the vaults and all these other things, the storage is, I mean, honestly, at a premium at this point in time. I mean, you see how many chests I have just laying around up here. And most of these are completely full. Um, some of them aren't completely full, but they're awful close. And so having a storage for all of these items is going to be necessary. Now, the hardest part is going to be actually figuring out how to store stuff. Um, here's an example of you know, statues that are going to give an infinite amount. They will produce this stuff forever. So having a large storage for those kinds of... That guy freaked me out when I saw him. Forgot about you. Uh, having a large storage is going to be, you know, completely vital. But having it organized is going to be tough because of all the, I mean, the myriad of different blocks that we have um, here in this uh, modded game. Turf, rocky stone, marble, I mean, all kinds of different th things. And so it's going to be tough, uh, but it is something that I think we do need to do. And since I was saying that, I just found a bunch more terracotta. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, 704, so I may have enough, actually. I do have enough. Looky there. Actually, I actually have quite a quite a bit more than I thought. And, of course, I'm going to do what I said I wasn't going to do, and I'm just going to throw this junk in there. Because that's who I am as a person. Uh, 16 diamonds, 1 honeycomb, and 15 pumpkins. Let's go ahead and complete this thing. I only have 4 pumpkins here, but we have a way to get pumpkins. We have a farm. And we'll throw our honeycomb in there. We'll throw our 5 pumpkins, because I found another one in this chest. 
and 16 diamonds. Well, luckily, we have a good stock of diamonds. I actually have 17 here. So grab 16 diamonds, because we get those both in the vaults and uh, just around the world, and we don't really need uh, diamond stuff this, at this point. And we will fly on over here to our melon and pumpkin farm, and it looks quite dangerous over here. Holy cow. Uh, we'll have to do this kind of quick. Uh, let's grab some pumpkins, and we are out of here. If I can fly, there we go. And we will take our ten pumpkins and put those into the altar, and there we are. And that's another crystal. And this one is a cooperative crystal. So we'll keep this thing in the uh, area here so that we know that we have uh, some cooperative ones. We'll organize these a little bit later uh, that we can run with our friends. So we can all get on here and run some really cool vaults. <coughs> and while we're at it, let's go ahead and throw the next one in. Uh, 207 glass. Actually, this is a pretty easy one. I have all of this stuff hanging around. We have our turtle egg. And 51 glass. We have that. Uh, 46 ink sacks. Mm, that's going to be rough. I don't think I have that many, but we do have the gold. So I guess we got to go do some squid farming. And there we go. One more crystal. Ah, such a satisfying sound. All right, so let's put these back in here. And let's see if we can do one more. Okay, this is what I'm not going to be able to do. 2,400 granite, which is... Oh, because granite's just really hard to find. The rest of the stuff I know I just have laying around, even the poisonous potatoes, but oh, that granite, that's a tough one. So we'll have to come back to that. All right, so after some more work, I have redone the ore room so i use these uh, light metal plates that my omega statue builds out there and uh yeah just kind of reorganized all my ores we have quite a few of them and uh this just looks awesome this is a this is a really cool little room here now the problem that i have right now is you can't get in and out uh, i took away the stairwell you can kind of climb up here but then you gotta like pearl out and it's, it's not the most ideal situation. So we have, as you can see in the top right, we have one unspent knowledge point. And one of the things I was going to be looking at was elevators. This mod provides you with ways of traveling vertically. Um, the basic elevators when placed vertically just do a thing with the shift and then up and down. And I can give you a quick example because CWG has already researched this one and I, I kind of really like it. Uh, over here in his base, he has a uh, elevator in the back corner and you, you don't even know it's there. It's one of the cool things about it. It's actually in this corner right here. So if I press jump, boom, I am on his second floor. If I press jump again, Oh, wow, I'm up in his ore room. Wow, oh, wow. Okay, he's got a lot more than I thought he did. Okay, but I can go to this corner and then press shift again, and it'll take me back down through. Now, I think that would be really handy to have. What is this? Vault artifact. Oh, that's cool. Um, I think that would be really handy to have because, you know, just traveling back and forth, I think would be really nice uh, right here. Maybe I would put it, like, right here, or actually, you know what? It'd probably be best, like, right here in the center. Um, but yeah, elevators is going to be a nice thing to have. So let's go ahead and research that thing because it's only one point and I have plenty of points here. So let's research that. There we go. Okay. So now we have elevators unlocked. Now I don't really know. I don't really know how to use this. Uh, let's search for elevator. So I guess we have to make an elevator block, which is made with white wool and an ender pearl. Okay, well, I have an ender pearl right here, and I'm guessing we can probably use any color wool. Uh, I should have some laying around here. Yep, there's a stack. So let's make an elevator block really quickly, uh, and let's see if this actually works. Okay, so if I place this elevator block, uh, do I have to place it on top? Okay, and then I press shift. Okay, maybe we need two. Okay, I made three more elevator blocks there, and let me just go down, let's see, what are the coordinates of this one? 112, 294. Okay, so let's go down to 112, 294, which should be right in here. 112, right there. Okay, so put that there. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, interesting. Now, I wonder if I can hide these things. 
All right, so I think we can hide these things. I think I just have to right click this with a regular block. Okay, so it does that. So I think I'll need to place it inside there. I wonder if I can get it back. Okay, yeah, so I just mine it and it will give it back to me, which is excellent. So I put this here and then I right click it with this and that's weird. But I guess that's not too bad. I guess it could be worse. Let's mine this one up here and mine this block. Put this here and then right click it with the metal plate and then I should be able to just zoink. Okay, that's kind of neat. So now I can just go back and forth here with my elevator. And I guess I just have to line myself up with this one and then just, yeah, jump. Okay, that's gonna work out well. I'm gonna have to replace this guy because that was supposed to be a slab. All right, so we have elevators. Now, if I make another one, uh, what is it, 112, 294, Let's go up here to the uh, upper section and we'll look for 112, 294. We'll just put this guy here. We'll right click it with a right click it with a blackstone block. There we go. And then I should be able to just boom. Okay. That's interesting. So if you jump over top of it, it'll mess you up a little bit. Let's go behind this chair. I know where it's at. Okay. So I have. Elevator blocks now. Okay, this is cool. This is going to come really handy, especially over there on the mega base, because um, I'm going to have multiple floors there. But this is really nice. You just shift and you're down here. Now, one of the cool things I can do is now that I have that done, I can actually seal this off. And I need to make a couple more of these blocks, but I should be able to just seal this off um, so that no one will know it's even here. All right, there we go. Now it's all sealed off. So my ore room is basically invisible. Unless you know it's here and you know where to go, you won't be able to get to it. So not that I think I need to worry about security too much here, but you know, it's always one of those things that's uh, nice to have just a little extra security. All right, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all on the next episode.